to my channel so today i'm wearing hair from ash mary hair and i'm wearing 30 inches of water wave hair so it's, this is also a 13 by 4 lace front wig so i just went ahead and did it in these little styles so i usually show full install videos but today i'm just going to be showing you guys how to make these and touch up your installs and basically make them look fresh and brand new so if you guys are interested in seeing how i got this look Watching and how I clean my wigs and stuff. And if you guys want to see me take it off, wash it, and reapply it, comment down below and let me know as well. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, the hair looks a bit dusty, the baby hairs are out of order. And it just looks like it just needs some love and care. It's not really too disgustingly messy. Overall, the hair is pretty nice. So the maintenance is pretty easy to keep up with. So first thing you want to do is brush out your curls. You want to brush out your curls from the bottom and then start to work your way up as you go. Don't just start it at the top and then brush down because that'll make it tangle even more and make the knots get harder to untangle. So as you guys can see, I'm just using this and brushing my ends out first. And as I go, I'm just going to start parting it in sections because this hair is super full and it's super thick. And this also is Wadi Wave hair from Austria Hair. So I'm just going in sections and making sure I fully blend out and brush out everything and get them knots out. Alright you guys, so now as I'm brushing out my hair, I did notice that the side piece is a little bit um, slid back. So what you can do is fully lift it up. You can use alcohol or any lace remover, but I just went ahead and pulled it because I don't really have any hair in my cyber area. Like I think I've kind of like snatched them all off, so it was super easy for me to do. Now I'm just going in with my baby hair goo, which I'm going to show you guys once I realize I didn't give you a presentation. And I'm just going ahead and brushing out the baby hairs. You have to brush the baby hairs out, not just from the ends, but also from the roots from where the hair is coming from. Just to give it a more natural, nicer look. So I'm just going ahead and souping out my baby hairs. Alright you guys, so now that I've finished, got my baby hairs to my likings, I'm just going to go ahead and do my sideburns. I am going ahead and curling each sideburn with a curling iron. I didn't curl any of my other baby hairs besides my sideburns. And now I'm just brushing that into place and then going in with my curling iron to give it an extra bump because I like my baby hair to go into like a swirl rotation. I have to use the curling iron. Alright guys, so now I'm going ahead and taking a powder that is lighter than my skin complexion and I just went down my part. This is going to help you have a more natural look, especially for someone who doesn't wear caps. This kind of just gives me a seamless look. Alright you guys, so the tutorial is super easy. So now I'm just going in with my spritz spray and my Sleekum spritz. And I am just hot combing out the top and getting that part nice and neat. And once I finish doing that, it's time to begin the styling. So before I begin the styling, of course, I'm going to go in and wet up the hair. I am using my So Carly hair detangler and activator. And I'm just going ahead and brushing and 
wetting up that area i'm gonna brush from my fingers through it wet up the area get it nice and damp and bring back that nice beautiful texture and also y'all make sure you fully wet the wig don't just wet the front part and the middle of the back part lift up and get in between those tough spots for this spray so look at the difference now i'm going ahead and doing the same thing to the other side As far as styling, I just wanted to do a simple look. So I'm going ahead with my um, twists and I'm using a hair clip, an actual hair clip. I usually tie like a ribbon, but I'm just getting in my two twists. I love this hairstyle. I just feel like a complete goddess with it. And this is my signature hairstyle. So I'm going ahead and just twisting that and connecting it. Well, not necessarily connecting it, but having it side by side each other. And y'all, look at this. I had to read the other side because it started to get loose. But y'all, I love the hair. The maintenance is amazing. All right. All right, guys. So this is the final look. And as y'all can see, it is super, super easy to touch up your own lace. Give yourself a little touch up, a little maintenance. Um, if you guys want to see how I like remove my wigs, take them off and clean them, let me know because I'll be sure to do that. And yeah, so that was the maintenance video. Hi right, right, guys, so this is the end of the tutorial. I went ahead and just did my little twists. As you guys can see, the hair is nice and flowy and so pretty. So if you guys are interested in seeing um, more videos like this, comment down below, let me know. Make sure you guys check out Ashmary Hair. I'll have all the descriptions listed down in my description box. And if there is a code, which I think there is, I'll definitely be sure to list that down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.